You can earn $20,000 a week by utilizing ChatGPT, even if you're a beginner with this new method. That's what we're going to talk about in this particular video. So let's jump in here and have a look. What am I talking about? Well, I am talking about money, obviously. But if we look at the past four weeks here in this dashboard, there's $82,000. So if we pop open a calculator, divide out $82,000 by four weeks, which is what we have here, $20,000, 500. That's how I get to the $20,000 a week number I just told you. Now, obviously, you can do math. That's not why you're here. This is Stripe which is if we roll back to like 12 months, we can see it's like $1.195 million point being here. Um, this is our credit card processor, not saying this to brag, obviously you can do this too. That's what I'm trying to tell you is it's possible. And if you don't wanna make up to $20,000 a week, go ahead and make $5,000 a week, make $20,000 a month instead. You can do whatever you want. Obviously the more money you make, the smarter you have to work and the harder you have to work to a degree, but we're gonna focus on smarter, not harder. So. With this particular method, I'm specifically talking about a few things. One, if we could stop for a second, pause the video, leave me a yes in the comments down below. That would be super helpful for me because it helps on YouTube and it helps me to judge if you actually like this video because I've had some videos lately that uh, were super popular and had some that weren't as popular. So based on the yeses, I can tailor the trainings to what you want. So that's super helpful. The second part is where we're going to spend most of the time today here, which is um, chat GPT and working smarter, not harder, harder, right? So step two, the automation system that, uh, that is obviously smarter, not harder, but, um, chat GPT is really important. And I think that it is massively undervalued, uh, smarter, not harder is people get it. And they're like, yeah, cool. I want to work smarter, not harder, of course. But I don't think that, but if you look at most people's actions, they don't act out that they don't act out smarter, not harder. They, they believe it in their head, but they don't, I don't know if they don't believe it in their heart or they just don't act on it. Maybe it's because it feels too easy. So like with AI, where it's at right now, like if you watch through 2023, it's going to be a massive shift. And I think that sometimes people get stuck because they're like, oh, this is too easy. It's supposed to be harder. This isn't going to work. Well, you know, I sympathize with you. I understand that it's easier than it has ever been. Like it is so easy now that like if you roll back like a hundred years and you put in like one tenth of the effort now, you can get back 10 times the result of what you could a hundred years ago. So it's just exponential, so much easier. But, you know, I think that if you are a person who can get past that and focus on what AI can give you and what chat GPT can give you and what automation can give you that, um, you really can just crush it. And I think this is going to be an important year to crush it. So let's jump into how to actually do that. Right now, if I jump over to ChatGPT and just go straight to ChatGPT, I get this nice red box where ChatGPT is down. ChatGPT goes down because it's popular. Uh, you know, it's been out four months at this point, not even. And it's super popular and, you know, they get overloaded and that's fine. This is direct access to ChatGPT. What a lot of people don't know is ChatGPT is just running based on a GPT model, right? So GPT is kind of like the higher structure. So like if you want to think of like the super high structure as GPT, like if I was this box and then ChatGPT runs under it and it connects to it. But we can connect directly to the GPT model and bypass the, this interface that's down. And so if we go, jump over to ShineRanker, we actually have it built in so we can get priority access. What do I mean by priority access? Well, if you go here to chat, of course, there's tons of other tools like the keyword research tool, which is super helpful for things that we're doing with YouTube and TikTok and all the rest and making money. And there's other things in here too. But, um, and if you want to do SEO, there's tons of stuff like the auditor and, you know, keyword tracker and the rest. So there's kind of a lot of tools in here. But with the chat function, it actually connects to the GPT model, same model that, chat GPT directly connects to, but we get priority access. So we get to bypass any kind of lines, any kind of waiting. It's just like having a paid chat GPT account, but it doesn't go down like chat GPT does. And so if we just refresh, we'll see, you know, it's down, the message goes away. But the point is, is like, if we go over here to this and say, we can't even type in chat GPT. So if I got on here and I put, how are you, you know, and just try to click I get nothing. It won't let me go. It's just totally down over here. It would be a stupid thing to ask AI how it's doing, but we can ask it anyways, see what happens. I've never done that. I wonder what happens. So curious, ah, as, an AI, as a language model, I don't have feelings, emotions. However, I'm functioning and I'm ready to help you in any way possible, right? So I guess that's a great there, you know, Shine Ranker priority access to the GPT model. It works even when ChatGPT 
does not work and chat GPT is down. So we're going to use this obviously because it's better because it works. And so the first thing we need to do is understand how we're going to make money with this. Well, we've got to understand the concept here and it's pretty straightforward. This model is pretty much views equals traffic equals money. So what does that mean? Well, we have to get some views, which is eyeballs, people, right? Interested people. And ultimately we can look at the end. We want to make some money. How we make money. How does a grocery store make money? How does Amazon make money? How does a magazine make money? How does, you know, Facebook make money? How does anything on the planet that makes money? How does it make money? Well, it's by selling something. If you go to the movie theater, they make money by selling you movie tickets and they make money by selling you popcorn, right? You know, somebody's making money off the movie tickets and somebody's making money off the popcorn. Obviously, that's how the, the movie producers make money and the movie stars make money is they ultimately sell the movies is what, it, what it's about. And so when you go to the grocery and you buy the popcorn there, they make money, so on and so forth. So we have to sell some stuff. Now we can sell our products, we can sell our services, we can sell other people's products and services. Doesn't matter, we're just selling it. And when sell, you sell somebody else's products and services, that's called being an affiliate, which we'll talk about how to get a list of those people in a minute from the checklist. But basically we have to get traffic to those offers, right? A grocery store has to open the doors. If no one comes into the grocery stores and buys anything and no one comes into the movie theater to watch a movie and no one goes to buy whatever from Amazon, then they have no business, they make no money. So that's traffic. And in the case of video, video is our catalyst, if you want to call it that. It's kind of like if you have eyeballs in a newspaper, then they're, they're readers. And so our videos, there are watchers and people are watching them um, if you don't have eyeballs on Facebook, then Facebook can't sell ads. If like nobody went there starting today, then they would not be able to sell ads because no one would be looking. So we need people to look at our videos and then click a link in the videos or, you know, type out a link in the description, etc. right? So something which turns them into traffic, which then they can buy stuff. And then that ultimately equals money. Now it sounds easy and it isn't a complicated system at all, but there are some steps. So how we can do this? Well, I'm going to use utilize ChatGPT as the easy button to make this whole concept a whole lot easier. So we're several minutes in. Thanks for sticking with me. Now that we've talked about the concept, let's actually do it. So if we go to TikTok and just search like make money online, you can search anything, literally. You'll see videos like this, right? You see lots of different styles of videos. One of the styles of videos is like this. So this has 388,000 views. Literally, if we watch this video and check it out, and look, we can see it is a six second video. And so it literally has a bunch of text on the screen. And then the person just like, I don't know what they're doing, cracking their head, cracking their knuckles and nodding their head, right? Whatever, right? So that's it. So it's if we look at this and break this down, we have three basic components, right? So there's really only three components in this video. And they're pretty straightforward. The three components are one, there is some sort of video, some sort of motion, Video really is just motion. It could be still pictures that you pan across or zoom in, or it could be like a person, but it's just a whole bunch of still shots put together that make video, right? So then we actually have, so we have like some video motion, right? We have some text on the screen, right? That's a big part of short form content is text on the screen. You don't necessarily have this in traditional TV or long form content unless it is like subtitles, which you can turn on and off or closed captioning kind of thing. But in short form, it's very common, almost necessary to put text on the screen at some point. So we have video motion, text on the screen, and we have sound. In this case, um, you're listening to me talk right now, that's sound. But in this case, it's literally just a song. So we really only have some sort of video motion, some sort of text, and some sort of sound, a song, right? If we break this down and look at this, how do we make a video that has these three components? It's pretty easy. We have sound or a song, right? That's in TikTok free. Like when you go in the TikTok app, there's massive amounts of music that are ready to go that you can use and whatever. Same thing, YouTube has a whole creator's license or a whole cat um, library of sounds and songs that you can use, right? So that part's easy. Just pick one, okay? The text part, well, what do you say? Well, that obviously is like the message of the video. So it's probably the most important thing right now because this is just some person. I have no idea who this is. They have a hat on backwards. They have on a flannel shirt and some blue shirt under it and they're showing their hands in their face, right? Um, in fact, we're staring up their nose if we want to be honest about it, right? So this is, is not a whole lot of anything and this could be a tree blowing in the wind for the motion in the background rather than a person. It doesn't even have to be a person, right? But you could obviously put your face on here 
or probably even use stock footage, but you could record yourself or pay someone to just record themselves flexing their hands or nodding their head or like literally doing anything like stare at it and wave your finger or nothing, you know? So I've seen this kind of video with all kinds of stuff in the background. The background is not so much important. It just has to be there. So really the background is basically of no added value to this. This is a person. And so people are valuable, but the added value here to make this video like more popular and to get the message across is nothing to do with the background. Is the sound important? Sounds and songs are emotional, but really it's just a sound picked at random because that's, it just is right. So pick a song. So these two basically don't matter is what I'm trying to tell you. Text is what matters. It's like 90% of the video, at least of the message that you're trying to get across. And we want to use the text to get someone to go to a link, which obviously makes them a viewer. So there are, I guess that's not true. They're already viewing it. When they go to the link, it makes them traffic and then they can buy something and we can make money. So how do we do that? That's pretty straightforward. We're going to utilize chat GPT. So we can grab this script right here. So I've got the script here, realizing at age 34, you might want to put your own um, age in there. Obviously, you know, if you're around 34, you could leave it like that. If you're like 19 or 65 and you put your face on there, that's not going to make sense if someone reads that. So put an age that's kind of close to where you're at. If you're putting your face on there, um, if you're putting a tree on there, you know, or some sort of motion or a dog, whatever, I don't know, right? Anything really, then it doesn't really matter so much. But uh, don't care about building a career, or climbing the corporate ladder. All I want to do is make the most amount of money working the least amount of hours possible so I can focus on my family, live life how I want instead of working 40 plus years working for a boss who's paying me what they think is fair. Now, there's some typos in here just because I literally just typed this out because that was the quickest way to do this. There are websites you can go out there and pull transcripts from and that sort of stuff. You can just Google for that. But like the worst case is here, it took me just a minute to type it. You could also just voice dictate it, right? And let AI translate it into text for you. But ChatGPT is going to correct spelling, so it doesn't matter, right? So this is pretty straightforward, right? I think this, first of all, this resonates with like, everyone, like 90% of everyone, right? Because, you know, people like, I don't know that there's anybody, maybe, maybe when you're first starting out, or maybe if you're not thinking about it, you really like, you really want to build a career because you want to be a doctor or an attorney or whatever. But like, if you want to build in a career, you're probably going to college for that. And you focus on that. And you're most likely not watching this video, although maybe could be, um, unless, you know, you've just decided that isn't the thing. But really, I think mo this is basically this person wants to work smarter, not harder, so they can have more time to do what they want and the money that they need to do it, right? That's like everyone on the planet, I think, at least most people. So I'm gonna grab this script. I'm gonna go over here to Shine Ranker Priority, ChatGPT Priority Access here, and I am going to paste it in here and then just say, right, so I was real specific. I asked it to slightly rewrite the script and say basically the same thing, but be at least 10% different. You can literally just say this, say the same thing, and you're gonna get it. Um, if it changes too much of it and you don't necessarily like how it comes out, you can say be at least 10% different or 15% different or whatever. I'm not sure what the number is. There's probably a number of different. You could probably Google that, but I doubt that the platforms necessarily give a specific thing. And I don't think there's a right answer. I think the only right answer or the only wrong answer is whatever doesn't work, right? So I've tried different things. I've tried 5% different, 15% different. And most of the time I don't put anything. I just put this, right? So at 34, it dawned on me that I'm not interested in pursuing a career or striving for upward mobility in the corporate world. My ultimate goal is to earn as much as possible, money as possible making while working minimal hours so that I can prioritize my family and enjoy life on my own terms. No longer do I want to spend over four decades working for an employer who determines what they consider reasonable compensation, right? So there's a couple things I don't like as much. Um, upward mobility is probably a little bit heavy but I do like this better. No longer do I want to spend f over four decades. I think that to me sounds more powerful than 40 years. Um, you know, so it's the way you say things. We can also say, okay, great, please. Right. And so I misspell stuff when I'm typing fast. And I just, you know, I used to really worry about spelling, but we're giving this to a computer who understands what in the world you're talking about. So it's like, do I want to take the time to spell it right and save a few seconds or, or not? Because I'm going to get the exact same result. So I just don't care. Smarter, not harder, right? Smarter is speed. And so what I've done here is I asked it to give me the same script, but at grade level six or under. And the reason why I asked for that is there's actually done studies. They, and by they, I just mean corporations or uh, not corporations, but institutions that study stuff uh, have done studies and found that to reach the broadest audience, you want to reach grade level six, because a lot of people just don't 
develop their vocab- vocabulary beyond grade level six. And so if we redo it, when I turn third floor, I realize that I don't want to work really hard in a big company and move up the ranks. What I really want to do is make lots of money while working less. So my family comes first and I have can have fun too. I don't want to work for someone else who decides how much money is fair for over 40 years, right? So you can, you know, make it your own or you can ask it for three different versions if you don't like some of the versions. But the point is, I think you see the difference between where we're at here and where we wound up at. And so that's super important because this really, you it, you could actually redo people's videos who have gotten the same concept. You could literally just take whatever they're writing. You could literally type out what they write and you could say, okay, give me this exact same script, but at grade level six and not do anything else besides that. And it'll wind up rewriting it into a way that reaches more people. Plus you have to understand that as you get into um, other languages, things don't necessarily translate the same. So if I say upward mobility, that might not necessarily translate into someone. If someone's watching this and they speak French primarily and English is a second language. And I translate this into French because they might take this text and translate it into French, right? then it's not going to mean the same thing. And you can also make videos for those markets by telling uh, ChatGBT here in, here in ShineRanker to translate this into French, all right? And you can make a bunch of videos. You can make a whole channel. Like you could make the same videos and make a whole channel for French and a whole channel for Spanish and a whole channel for, you know, your standard English. And you can make a whole channel for Mandarin and whatever it is that languages you want to target. So you can do that too, which is a really powerful thing. However, that aside... The point here is that we can reach the most people and the most people are going to understand this if I make it grade level six or less, right? So we can just take something that works and just upgrade that. And so now all I have to do is, like I said, replicate a video, stick my face in it, stick a dog or a tree or any kind of motion in it. Now I have the text, which is the 90% of everything. And then I can just pick a sound. I can upload this to TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever I want, wherever it makes sense. And then of course, at the end, I'm going to put in here down at the bottom, I'm going to put like, to figure out, you know, to see what I figured out, go to, and then you put the link. And then when they show up on the link, it's a landing page that captures their email address, something like so, where they can enter their email address and put it into a CRM. And then when it goes in the CRM, the CRM is going to start sending it emails. If you don't know what a CRM is, drop that down in the comments. We can explain that. But the CRM is going to send them emails every single day selling them stuff. What's it going to sell them? If you go to this website right here, you can pick a product off the list. And then it's going to give you an affiliate link. So if you want to see that, for example, right here, if I go right here and just pick this tool called Jasper and I roll down to the bottom of the page as an affiliate program, I can apply for it. Then I can log in. When you log into any affiliate dashboard, you're going to get a link down here. And then when someone goes to that link and signs up, you get paid. And then we get stats. And we can see there's like $4,000 of unpaid earnings and two, $3,000 a month for well over a year. And so the point here is that you just need this link. And then in the syst- in the CRM, you're going to put this link in all the emails. And again, you're going to use ShineRanker to write all the emails for you. But once you make all of the emails and it sends it out every day, people click on the link and you get paid, right? So they click the link, which is how we get to are views. So the video is the views. They click the link, they become traffic and they enter their email address. And then every day the system sends them emails with the product. And when they buy the product, you get paid. So pretty straightforward. Obviously, in order to get to $20,000 a week or even $5,000 a week, if you want to go $20,000 a month, you need to learn a few things. This video has been pretty long and you've stuck with me. And so I appreciate that. And I appreciate you, but you're going to have to learn some more stuff. And so we actually have live classes over here at this URL right here. And if you go here, you can get the next free training as well um, and learn some more stuff. In fact, if you go back the past few videos on this channel, there's been some really great stuff that I've broken down. So I'd encourage you to go watch the other videos on this channel, the past uh, three specifically at least. But um, once you do that, go to this website right here and this is the live classes. So every Tuesday, Thursday, we're in there live. The replays are in there. So you can watch all of the replays as well and get access to all of that. But we're basically going to break it down step by step by step, including how to set up the automation system on the back end, the CRM, how to do the videos on the front end with other ways that you can make videos as well, in addition to what I just showed you and a ton of other things, right? So basically you have to learn a few things to do this. So like this guy is saying that they don't want to work 40 hours a week. They want to work the minimum amount of hours. I'm for that too. I also want to work the minimum 
amount of hours and make the most amount of money so that I can spend time with my family and live the life I want to live. Like I said, I think like everyone is pretty much there unless you have hundreds of millions of dollars and money isn't an issue and you're just worried about, you know, living your life, but you're not likely to watch this video. So for everybody else, I want to be there too. The question is, is how many hours do I have to work? Well, I actually work pretty hard because I want to have total flexibility and financial freedom. And so that means something different to everybody. I have pretty big dreams and goals, um, maybe bigger than some people. And some people don't want to work as many hours and they're content. And that's just fine, right? I still take time for my family and I still take time to live the life I want to live. But, um, you know, if I have more money, I can give it away. And I really actually like giving money away and helping people, getting them food and all kinds of cool stuff that I work with the food pantry and everything else. So what works for you is what works for you. But you got to do something is my point. You're going to have to take some time to learn some stuff because you got to learn to work smarter, not harder. That way you can work less hours and spend less time working for somebody else and you can get paid more, right? So that's, you know, I showed you at the beginning here, the Stripe account, obviously this doesn't even include PayPal. There's a lot of money to be had. And if we roll back, of course, the past 12 months is like $1.195 million. It's a lot of money, right? Right. But this year I want to take this to $3 million and then, you know, eventually 10. Right. So, and we're already well on track for 3 million. That shouldn't be an issue. Um, 5 million would be an aspirational goal for this year. And so whatever your goals are, it's possible. That's all I'm trying to show you is it's possible and you can definitely do it. And in order to get step three, which is the full blueprint, you want to go over here to this website right here and this website couldn't find it and get into the live classes so that you can attend, ask questions, watch the replays and learn the process step by step by step so that you can transition to the life you want to live, making the money you want to live, working only the hours that you want to work to do it. And so jump over here, join the live classes and until then, happy money making.